Welcome back to Let's Play Super Talking Time Bros. I'm that guy. We're in New World 7, which I believe is Persimmon Valley. Four, five, six, seven. Persimmon Valley. Percy, the evil yellow creature that Mara has been antagonizing Mara the entire game, is of course a Persimmon. The first level is Sunset Silhouettes. Another level by L. And it is one of the most graphically impressive levels in the game. This is just, the whole level looks like this. It's very, very cool how he replaced all the sprites to look like uh, shadows. Of course, you also can't see um, what your question mark blocks are. You can't see things like holes in the bottom of the screen sometimes. So the level kind of works and kind of doesn't in places, which is characteristic of a lot of L's levels in the game, honestly. And... I hate those flytrap things. Volcano lotuses, I believe they're called. Okay, we're good. Um, so it's a really good idea for a level, but it's needlessly frustrating in places where you say can't see where you're going or what you're doing because everything is just black. So... I think he could have stood to make the level like just a tiny bit easier, but... I don't know, this is a level that I didn't get to until... Dang it, I did not want to take a hit right there. Because usually when I take a hit, it's because I've decided to do so. For whatever reason. But still, very cool looking level. And... And what? I don't know where I was going with that. I had a train of thought, but I lost it. Oh, bullet bills. That's that's exactly what this level needed, was some bullet bills. Let's try to stay up on the high road here. Oh, I missed the high road. Okay, this was the part that's irritating, because now you're... Yeah, now you're getting hidden by items in the foreground, and then the background, and... It's easy to lose your place in the world, and I just ran into a bullet bill. Oh, it's not going to fire as long as I'm standing on it. And this part was just lovely. And then you've got this part here, and... Yeah, this part didn't need to exist. It's like you're taking the... I didn't even realize that I fell there. Yeah, kind of taking the idea a little too far at this point. Or maybe not, because, you know, I got through the level just fine, so maybe it's not too far. You have no idea what this sign says, because it's completely black. And... So is the end of the level. It's completely black. Very nice. But there's a si uh, secret star in there, so let's... Find it. Where was it? I don't even remember... Now, where the secret star was. I'll just try going down all the pipes! When in doubt, try all the pipes. I wonder why he didn't reskin the fire flowers. The mushrooms got reskinned. The fire flowers did not. And I wonder if he would made sure to reskin things that aren't in the level like Yoshi and Karibo's shoe. Because you can bring those into the level from outside. I just don't know if he had the foresight to take care of it. And those fireballs are not blackened. I don't know how much of that was in his control, and how much he wasn't able to do. Uh, because some things in this program are just hard-coded, and you just have to deal with them. Let me up the pipe! There's a pipe, like, there on the ground. I wonder if that goes somewhere. Dang it! Stop it! Stop it! No, that pipe goes nowhere. Okay, and it is... Ah, it's time to jump in the hole! I'm starting to regret recording my Let's Play on a day when I had the sniffles. But, you know what? My life is just a long series of regrets. Mostly 
related to Mario in some way. Oh, there's a bullet bill cannon down there, too. I didn't even see him. Ah. Okay, so where do I have to go to get a secret star? I don't know. I'll find it, though. Because I'm awesome like that. Aha, you thought you were going to shoot me, but you could not. Because Mario's red. I, I don't remember where the secret star is in this level. Um, there's no up. The screen does not scroll up anywhere. It must be just be in a pipe that I missed somewhere. Let's fly over all this mess. I'm like trying to scan the bottom of the level for something that looks pipe-shaped, but it's kind of difficult because the graphical effect of this level makes everything difficult to see. I thought I tried all these pipes. I'll try them again. I'm gonna spin you all to death. Yes, sweet! That's right, disco dancing is my forte. Oh, I tried to dodge the fireball and got piranha planted instead. Arg! Yeah, I don't know. Oh, right there. With oh, that's right. It's an underwater section. This level sucked. Okay, we're gonna do the best we can with it, though. And this part is especially bad, because if you... Ah, as you swim to the bottom of the screen, Mario starts to disappear... ...as the gradient gets darker down there. Oh, it was a pain. Okay, I remember, because I got the secret star first. I went down in the water section first before I played the rest of the level, so... This might take me a few tries, in all actuality. Trying to lure the blooper down here, but he keeps banging into that fish. Uh, they didn't put a water world in the game because they decided that water levels are bad and nobody likes them. Oh, I want the fire flower. But then people kept making water levels anyway. It's like they did not take the hints. Damn it! Oh, FML. Okay, just take it easy. It's just a water level. It's not the end of the world. It is the end of the world! I got hit again! Stupid cheap cheap. Oh, and then this freaking guy, because there's no easy way past this particular blooper. You just have to hope he doesn't destroy you with his insane blooperness. Okay, I got past him. And then just for good measure, Gelectros. Gelectros are easy enough to navigate as long as you are careful, but the ones on the bottom of the screen are invisible when they're not flashing. Which makes things very tricky indeed. And here's my zigzag. And there's my star. Woo! Thank Godness that is over. So very cool idea for a level. I just feel may maybe he extended it a little beyond the point where it was necessary. It's like we could have got that point across without all the bloopers and things. Nightlife by Donnie. And we have Castlevania music. I don't know why makes no sense to have Castlevania music in a Mario level like this. As far as I know, this level is not trying to rip off Castlevania in any way, but maybe he just likes this music. It's good music. I enjoy it. I'm not going to criticize his choice.
Alright, it's like the Ladybug Express over here. I dig it. I dig it so much that I was gonna... Oh man, you slip on your own ice blocks. I didn't realize that until just now for some reason. That your own ice blocks were slippery. Uh, yeah, I can jump that pit. Leap of Faith! Actually, it wasn't that much a leap of faith because I knew it was on the other side. Uh... I want to land on those spike tops. Haha! -ha. There's a lot of ice flowers in this level. I wonder why. Was there a moon up there? Did I. You know what? I don't need that moon anyway because I have 99 guys already. I think that was another design choice they just they wanted to do early on is make sure the player always had like a million free guys. That way there's no chance of ever getting a game over. Oh, that was dumb. Uh, I can make that jump, though. No, I can't! Ah, Life sucks! <laughs> Note to self, don't destroy your Koopa Troopa bridge when you need to... Yeah. Let's get my second ice flower here. Go away, ice block. Usually I like to carry something in my hands like that, an ice block or a shell or something is kind of a self-defense thing to kick at monsters, but... Why did I jump like that? That was... I mean, it worked out for me, but I should not have done that. That was dumb. And we're almost to the end of the level, I believe. It's a toad rave! Alright! Yeah! Groove! This is my jam! Boom, boom, boom! Oh, okay, there's a Castlevania reference. I got I get it. And all these toads say really irritating things. We've been crushing up these stars and snorting them all night. Stars are drugs. That's why Mario collects them. So yeah, Toad Rave. Toads are all crack addicts. Nipper Snappers by L. This is one of the levels that had three stars in it. Let's see if I can find all three without too much trouble. This was a particularly irritating level, I recall. This was one of the L levels that I felt could use a little TLC. And I think all the stars are down pipes, so let's just start figuring out these pipes. Okay, I will... You know what? When you stand on top of a pipe, if there's a piranha plant that comes up out of it, he will not come out of the pipe as long as you are on the same horizontal plane, or on the same vertical plane as him. That is not true of piranha plants that come down out of pipes. They'll come down no matter where you are or what you're doing. Okay, so that wasn't a star room so much as just a little bonus room. And nothing down that pipe. What about this pipe here? Haha! -ha. Little underground section. You gotta be careful with these nipper snappers, because they're really very, very tricky sometimes. Oh yeah, this level. This sucked. Let's uh be careful here. Oh crap, no, no platform, come back! Oh, I missed it. But I still have my leaf, and that's what I need to get into the bonus level. So let's leaf it up and go back in. I don't think this level had any changes made to it. I think they left this level as is, and it was... Which I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. I mean, we're in World 7 now, so levels can start to get a little difficult, I suppose. Let's go ahead and this time I'll be more careful on this platform. Alright, here we go. It is platform time, Jones. What's going on? Like racing the platform, it's crazy. 
And this part here, oh, but you actually you want to go up the waterfall. That's where you want to go because there's a little bridge. Again, you can see the bridge on top of the screen into a hidden pipe, which brings you up out here. And a sign uh, basically just tells you how to get to the secret best area in case you couldn't figure it out. And then hidden star, number one.